Hello, Friendship Village. It's wonderful to be with you once again today. Thanks for joining us for this moment of encouraging words together. I'm glad you're here. You know, there's an old adage that says people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Really a truth to that, isn't it? We're not necessarily impressed over time simply by knowledge, but by what we do with that. How we allow what God gives us and what he develops in us with between talent and skill and understanding and wisdom. Um, what really matters is how that is applied to touch the need of someone else. There's something about the ministry of care as we reach out with the love of God that really touches a person deep down in their heart, in their soul. The scripture today comes from Psalm 43. In verse 3, just before I read it, let me kind of set the stage. The writer had gone through a time of persecution. He felt like enemies had come to attack him. He felt like the whole world had turned against him. And he was looking for answers. He was looking for hope. And this is what he says here in Psalm 43, verse 3. Calling out to the Lord, he writes, Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. It's an interesting scripture. It's a comparison right there in the beginning between two things, the Lord's light and the Lord's faithful care. And he says about both of those things, may they lead me. You know, in a dark area, a light leads our path. In those days, they would have carried a small oil lamp in their hand at night, and it would be just enough light to show them the pathway and the next step. And there's this idea that where God sends his love, his goodness, it becomes a light to us. It shows us the way to go. It leads us ultimately to him. And the writer here compares the light of God, the guidance he brings, the, the way he draws us to himself, he compares that to the Lord's faithful care. He says, Lord, I'm hurting. I'm in this time of hardship. But your faithful care means all the world. It leads me right, he says, to your holy mountain. The idea is to where you are. It leads me to your presence. It's in your presence that I feel safe and I feel secure. You know, when we experience God's care, it begins to make a huge difference in us. But I would suggest to you, what's the number one way that God pours out his care? Very likely, it's through another person. God moves upon the heart of someone to express his love, to express his goodness. And as that person comes alongside, we experience the love and the care of God. Not only does that help us to see that that kind of care comes from the Lord, but it serves as a reminder that he wants to work through each and every single one of us to give that care away to someone else. I want to give you a couple of practical, for instance, type examples of that. This week, I had the opportunity to pray with two brothers. Their father had recently passed away, and uh, I was just expressing my heart to them, and they with me. And they were going through his things, and they gave me a book that he had had. Their dad had been fighting cancer. And so there was a book that he had picked up that he wanted to be sure was passed on to someone else. And so uh, here it is, a simple book about fighting cancer. And it just says, uh, there's hope. It's a step-by-step -step guide to helping yourself um, fight uh, those issues as they come up. And I found it fascinating that this man who was in the last season of life, who recently passed, wanted to be sure that the things that helped him got passed on to somebody else. And so here were these two boys who are grieving the loss of their dad, but wanting to help make a difference for others right here at the village. So they passed on this book to me. I'm going to set it out in, in our chapel. If anybody wants to come by and pick it up, you are welcome to it. But the idea is, even though they were hurting, they were looking to reach out. And through that kind of kindness, changes happen in a heart, both to the one expressing the care and to those of us who receive that care. There's a life change that comes. And in the midst of that, it helps us to see the Lord. It helps us to understand that he is kind, that he is good. One other quick example. 
on the first Thursday of every month right here at Friendship Village, we have offered a small discussion group for those who are caregivers. Perhaps they have a, a spouse who's going through a particularly difficult mental or physical time. Perhaps they have dementia. Perhaps they have debilitating physical issues. And the spouse becomes the primary caregiver. Um, that can be a tough job. So we try to find a way to gather once, uh, once a month and just get people to share their hearts together. We are revamping that group. Next week when we meet on Thursday morning, in fact, not only do we encourage people in that category to come, but we're going to find a, an, an additional way to continue to minister care to those folks. I recently picked up a book that's called Grace for the Unexpected Journey. And it's a bit of a journal, and we're just going to go through a couple pages of that and then share our hearts together on those Thursday mornings when we talk. The point is, whether you ever come to a group like that or not, the point is, is that we need one another. We need the care of the Lord expressed through people, and God looks to use us to express that care to others. And, uh, and it's like a full circle that comes around. In his presence, as we express his care, it's like a light that draws us to him. God wants us to know him in his fullness, the power of his love, the strength that he offers, the hope and peace and joy that is always found in him as we open our hearts to him. No matter what's happening around us, we can experience that. That's because his love is real. And he wants to make that love known to us and through us. Do you need the ministry of care today? Do you need to know that there's a Heavenly Father who loves you, who's looking out for you? I promise you He is. If we can help in any other way, please don't hesitate either to contact me or my associate chaplain, Mary Myrick. We're glad to help you any way that we can. And uh, we are trusting that the Lord, His love, His goodness can and will make all the difference. Let's reach out to Him in prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion for each and every one of us. And even as the psalmist was hurting uh, on the inside in such a great way, but looked to you and found in your constant care a sense of peace, a sense of uh, security, Lord, we turn to you looking for the same. We trust in your love. We are thankful for the people that you place in our life that minister your goodness and kindness. Help us also to take up that mantle and allow you to work through us through encouragement and a kind word and a listening ear and however else you might want to help us to serve. Lord, make your light and your love known through us that others would be drawn to you as well and experience the fullness of your presence. Thank you for hearing our prayer today. Thank you that you never leave us or forsake us and that you're with us even right now. We love you, Lord. Thanks for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us here today. We um, pray that you have a great day in the Lord. Uh, here at Friendship Village, we show you these videos. We do our best to show them three times a day, brand new at 4.30 in the afternoon. They repeat at 8 o'clock at night and then once again, 8 o'clock the following morning. But you can find them anytime, day or night. Uh, on YouTube, simply type in Encouraging Words with Burt Campbell on your smartphone uh, browser or uh, your computer, however it is that you connect to the internet. You'll see all of our videos there right now. If you are watching this video online, you'll see a place right, I think right here, where you can click and subscribe and discover when new videos are released. And if you want to see any of our previous ones, there, right here, if you click on this uh, spot that'll appear right here. God bless you today. Have a great day in the Lord. We will see you next time. <laughs>